Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we generated the initial code base with ChatGPT. In this video, we will fix a bug with Tab9, GitHub Copilot, and also Cursor. The same bug, we'll try to fix it with all these AI tools and see which of the tools is better. So you learn how to fix bugs and also learn what is the best tool to do that job. Let's begin. To do this, I have placed the same code in three different IDEs. Here is Visual Studio Code, where I have GitHub Copilot installed. And so this app is running and it is producing this code. You see, I changed the heading here, GitHub Copilot, and then I have the same code in Cursor. As you know, Cursor has a native AI code assistant, so we'll use Cursor to fix a bug. This code is also running and it's here in this tab. So it's the same code, I simply change the heading. And then in PyCharm I have Tab9 installed. Tab9 is a plugin, you can install it in PyCharm from the settings and go to plugins, search for Tab9 in the marketplace tab and install Tab9. And this code is also running in this tab. Right, let's introduce a bug. We will try two different types of issues here. So we'll try a runtime error, try to fix a runtime error. We'll introduce one and then try to fix a logical error as well. So the two main types of errors. We also have syntax errors, but using an AI to fix a syntax error is an overkill. So you don't want to waste time going through AI. You should simply read the error and it's a simple error to fix a syntax error. So we will skip syntax errors. And let's introduce a runtime error here. So um, we will introduce that error in all three IDs. I was thinking perhaps in the result function in app.py, in the root decorator here, I will change this string from post to pos. So, and save that. And I'll do the same in the other IDEs. So this was PyCharm where I have tab 9. Let's go to cursor, do the same, delete the T, save. That was cursor and let's do the same in Visual Studio Code where Copilot is installed. Let's go to app.py and remove the T. Right. Now if we reload these apps, reload, reload, and quickly select the first options and go to submit, you get method not allowed. The same for the code where tab 9 is installed in PyCharm and the same goes for cursor. So we have a method not allowed. This method is not allowed for the requested URL. So this is the case where we know the error message and in that case, let's try to fix the error with Copilot first. So the best way to do that is to go to Copilot to the chat feature and ask a question in that chat feature. Now you have the option to just paste the error if you're, if you're lazy and just enter and Copilot will do its job. It will probably fix it, but I do not suggest this. I, I, I suggest to actually create an actual issue to report the issue. When the user submits, so explain what's happening, submits the results with the submit button, this error is returned in the results URL or by the results URL. So we are using the chat because Copilot has context, so it knows the code base. So it will try to fix it by referring you to, as you see here, it showed the app.py file, so it's, it knows what it's doing and it gives us the corrected code. It gives us an explanation so it's doing a good job to fix the error now you should be careful so you should be cautious of where you're placing that don't just insert like that because it will break your existing code so i'll undo that 
and I'll just try to read the message in your code. The root slash results is only accepting post method, which is not a valid HTTP method. So you should go to the result root. So you should be familiar with your code to be able to use Copilot to fix the issue. Otherwise, you will have a hard time fixing the error. So uh, the Copilot assistant will not magically just fix your code. You have to work a bit. And here in the reference, you see the file where you, are, you have to go. So in this case, I'll just simply copy this line and control V to paste it here. So that will change that to post. So that was in Copilot. Let's jump to cursor. In cursor, I'll do the same. I'll open the chat feature, which can be opened with this button. Go to the chat tab and out copy the same query, which we did in Copilot. Paste it there, press enter, and let's see what cursor will do. So again, cursor detects where the problem is, app.py, and it's likely a typo. In the result root, it should be post instead of post. So cursor didn't give us the code, but it has a short, concise answer, which I do like. So I'll go to here and just add the T manually and save the code. So that's the experience with cursor. Now let's try tab 9 in PyCharm. So I'll go to the tab 9 chat icon here and just paste and press enter. Tab 9, similarly like Copilot, gives us the updated code and where to look for it in the app.py file. So the name of the file is here. And I'll copy that first part of the code and replace it here. And save the code. And that's how to fix an error with these tools. Now, that was the first type of error where you, when you know the error message. The second type of error is a logical error when we don't have an error message, but we get incorrect results. Let's intentionally introduce such an error. For example, we could go here in the result function and we see this conditional where it says that if the question is equal to the correct answer, so if the user gave a correct answer, then we increase the score by one. So the user gets one point. I'll change this. So this is an equal operator. So if this is equal to that, I'll change that to a non-equal operator. This will not introduce an exception so we will not get any error in the command line, but we will get incorrect results, incorrect user score, as you'll see. So let's introduce the same error in the other IDEs. This was PyCharm. Let's go to Cursor, change that to non-equal. The same for Visual Studio Code, change that to non-equal, save. And if we try the app, Paris, Mars, that and that. So these are all correct answers, but we get a score of 0 slash 4 instead of 4, 4. So that's a logical error. We have no errors on the command line here or here or in PyCharm, but we have incorrect results. How can we fix this? Let's start with GitHub Copilot. I checked all the correct answers and was expecting to have a score of 4 by 4. However, what I got was a score of 0 by 4. So I'm giving two pieces of information to the AI here. The expected output and the actual output. I don't know where the error is. If I knew that the error was in this line, then in GitHub Copilot, I could select that line, right click, go to Copilot and say fix this. So if you know where the error is. However, this is not the case here, so we have to use the chat. So let me press enter. 
and see the logic of Copilot. So it seems to be working fine, yeah? It got where the error is, so it says that you need a, an equal operator here. Right, so that was good. Let's try cursor. Paste the same query. The issue might be with the comparison in the result function. Instead of this, try users get answers with this. So um, similarly, like before, Copilot gives us the, the code here, so it provides a correct code with a longer answer, while cursor gives a more concise answer, which I tend to prefer personally, because you don't have to read a lot, so you just read this one paragraph and you know where the error is. So both AIs were able to detect the issue. Let's try tab 9. The code seems to be working correctly. You can check the correctness of your implementation by modifying the question that, hmm, that's not so good. So tab 9 is completely off here with its suggestion. It's suggesting to go to the data source and change things there, but that's not the case. So in that aspect, Copilot and Cursor did a better job in fixing this logical error. And that concludes this video. In the next one, we will add a feature using these AI assistants, a new feature to our application. See you there.